Hello guys and welcome to another FGO video. Here I will be talking about which GSSR banner I will be summoning in in the latest like you know new year campaign that we're like, going to have in 2023. And uh, yeah, I'm doing this a little bit early because honestly speaking, I don't have any other like I, I couldn't think of any video ideas. So <laughs> you know FGO related. So I was like, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, like I'm doing this one and a half months earlier so um, yeah I'm going to talk about all the banners I'm going to see which characters there are I already have like a decision already made and uh, I'm going to talk about that and all the other characters I'm going to see which banners which character is there so here we are I'm in the fate grand order fandom page and uh, the lucky bag summoning campaign of JP 2021 and as you can see here you go so this is these are the banners now i'm going to uh i'm going to say in the beginning which one i have actually decided on and there's a reason behind it uh i've decided on this banner the first one the three red knights which is basically the saber archer and the lancer banner so why have i decided on this because i think uh people who have been following me probably knows that i wanted ibuki but i decided not to get her because of, of excessive amount of expenditure on Van Gogh, like I spent like the like the highest amount of well, SQ that I've spent on any characters, Van Gogh, and I think like five fifty SQ or something. So I was like, yeah, I I cannot just like you know try to get Ibuki because again that will be like you know I don't want to spend any more. So here we have the GSSR banner. I know there's like how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven characters here and the chances are like one out of seven um yeah but it's like you know like I'll, I'll just give it a try let's see what happens and if i fail uh, another reason why i am doing on this banner pulling on this banner because i have the least amount of characters in this banner like i don't have ibuki i don't have okta soji i don't have uh saber shiki not do i have archer uh Artoria, I have Ishtar, I have Ershkikal, I don't have Brynhild as well. So only two characters I have out of all these characters. So Ishtar and Ershkikal, you know, I don't really like, you know, like I don't want any duplicates. Hopefully I don't get them again. Uh, but all the other characters are really solid characters and characters that I really like. So, and I don't have them. So I'll, I, I decided for this one. Like this, this is the only banner that I have the least amount. If I exclude uh, the male banners. So here, uh, Ibuki obviously, like an Ibuki will be my first choice. Like you know, if I get any character, I would pray to be Ibuki. Uh, if that doesn't happen, what will be my second choice? I'm going to say my second choice would probably be Okta, because uh, yeah, I, I would love to get Okta Saber. Uh, then uh, who? Maybe Archer Artoria, you know, and then Shiki and Brunhild are there as well. So any of these characters, I'll be happy to get. Obviously, Ibuki will be my first priority. If I don't get her, then Okta Soji. But yeah, that that's how I have thought, and I like you know I've decided. I've already decided this. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Like that's out of the way. And now let's talk about the other banners. Now I'm I've not really looked at the other banners that much, so I'm going to look at it properly and see which characters are there and which characters. Uh, it would be like you know I, I'll say say which banner is my second would have been my second choice like my first choice is the first banner so which I would have been my second choice I'll kind of decide from here um, okay the second uh, banner is three red knights number two here we have Nero Bright um, uh, Benyanma Musashi Saber Jun Archer Teishonagun uh, Skahat and uh, Tabamo Lancer. Okay, interesting banner. Uh, Nero, uh, uh, I think Nero, uh, what's her name? Nero uh, Bright. Nero Bright is a very, very good, I think like an arts, she's an arts, isn't she? Arts single target character. I've heard a lot of people singing huge praises of her. So I'm kind of like, I'm not sure, like, but I think she's like a solid choice here. Like, uh, and obviously Nero, Nero is like our beloved Nero. So, yeah, I think like uh, anyone who is like new and doesn't have any characters in this banner, the best character to try to get would have, would be like, you know, uh, 
Who would it be? I feel like Musashi and uh, Kahat would be like a solid choice because first of all, Musashi is a character which I don't think you can ever get anymore. You know, so people who don't have Musashi, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will try in this banner just so that they can get Musashi because there won't be any more banners anymore. Who knows? Maybe in the future, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the FGO climax. You know, I'm not even sure if Musashi is going to come back or not. I have that hope, but you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not counting on it that much. But still, like you know, Musashi uh, is would be like as I feel like one of the most uh, sought out character in this, like you know, uh, banner and in this luck, uh, like in this GSSR in itself because she's not there anymore. So Musashi and Skat, obviously Skat is a still a solid, very like you know, good quick single target lancer. And she has that costume, that bunny suit costume, pretty really good. Tamamo is also a really good Lancer. I do have Tamamo Lancer. Like out of all these characters, I have Musashi, uh, Skahat and Tamamo. I have three characters. So all the other characters, yeah, like out of all these characters, I feel like the character that I would love, like the characters that I don't have, the character I would love would be Nero Bright. Then it would probably be Sei Shonagun, yeah. Like, I would love to get, say, Shonagun. Like, if I, like, you know, summoned on this banner. I'm just, this is, like, all, like, if. These are all if, like, you know, situations. Uh, and uh, then I would probably go for Benny Enma and then Jun uh, Archer. I've heard, though, that Jun Archer is a very good farmer, I think. So, I think she's also a very solid choice for farming and all. And, uh, yeah, uh, this is a very solid banner, you know. Uh, like, you know, Musashi is there, John, like, you know, John Archer, uh, Nero Bright, Gahat, Tamamo Lancer, like, all these really good characters are there, Benny and as well, so, a really solid banner. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, Red Horseman 4, it's so, like, what can I say, like, I, this is one thing that I don't like about this, is that, um, Da Vinci is in this banner, while Rhinus is in the next banner. Like, I would have loved it if they put both of them in the same banner. Like, it's like, I don't know, like, you know, I, I, I really want Rhinus and, and Da Vinci Lily as well, but they're in different banners. That kind of like, you know, I, I, it makes me think like, oh, it would have been great if both of them were in the same banner. <laughs> but anyways, nothing you can do about it. Let's talk about this banner. Another solid banner for everyone who doesn't have Castoria. All the character people who don't have Castoria will definitely go for this. I'm I can like I can say hundred percent because Castoria is a is a is one of the best units. Not one. He she is currently the best unit in this game. Support unit, obviously. You're gonna follow by Skadi and everyone. But uh, so that's why I think like you no know, a lot of people who don't have Castoria will go for this. Even people who have Castoria might go for this to NP two or NP three her. So this banner will be really sought out. Um, not only that, we have Da Vinci Lily here, which is another character who is an ex excellent farmer, and it would be crazy if, like you know, like if she also came. So yeah, like Da Vinci Lily, Castoria, solid units, like you know, amazing units. Another reason why people might go for this is Musashi Berserker. Again, Musashi is not here anymore. So this, this is these uh, lucky banners are the uh, lucky back summonings are the only way to get her. So three characters I can see people actually like you know trying to get in this like you know like any of them trying to get in this banner: Da Vinci, Lily, uh, Castoria, and Musashi. So three solid units, uh, and three of them are really good. Musashi is like the best farmer currently in art. Like I, I just I just use Musashi everywhere. Double Castor and Musashi everywhere. It just saves so much time. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, um, obviously another character everyone might try to get is Kama. You know, Kama one of the best uh, single uh, quick uh, NP user, and she's she's an absolute beast of a unit with uh, Skadi. And like you know, like she, I just like you know, she's just she just like hits hard, charms the character, and then again hits hard. Like that's what she does. So it's like, you know, she's also, nice. so four, my God, four really good characters here that people like, you know, like, uh, might try to get. This is, yeah, this banner, I feel like this is probably one banner that everyone will try to go for. Yeah, the maximum people will probably go for this banner because this banner has a lot of really good characters. Other than them, uh, Ilya uh, is there, Ilya Caster. Mm, I don't have Ilya. Okay, uh, let's see how many characters do I have from this. I have Castoria 
from here. I have Kama from here. I have Musashi from here. Three characters I have. All the other characters I don't have. And uh, Ilya, yeah, Ilya is a, I think, a single target buster user. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she's, she's kind of like, uh, I guess you could say, uh, Sanzang, isn't she? Like, Sanzang is really good. Like, as a single target caster, I love Sanzang. Just, just insta NP regens and then just hits the enemy. It's really good. <clears throat> okay, Murasaki Shikibu. Uh, I'm not quite sure about Murasaki Shikibu though. I've I don't know if how people use her like all these characters I know how people like you know use them like you know which scenario they use them let me know like in which scenario do they use Murasaki Shikibu I'm not quite sure uh Semiramis is a character that I once like you know when I didn't start YouTube I, I tried to get her because I really loved Semiramis as a character I didn't get her unfortunately and then you know, the first banner the Valentine's banner that she came I didn't get her so <laughs> all my SQ was gone like not all but I like you know like uh, most of my SQs were gone and I stopped trying to summoning her. Like this is one thing I get no characters from the Valentine's banner. It's, it's really weird. Like I've tried multiple times in getting characters from the Valentine's banner. I never get one. So I've, I've actually tried stopped trying to get characters in the Valentine's banner. It's unlucky for me. And the next character is uh, Mister Hearing X. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure about this, but I do remember when I started the game people like you know like just i don't know like you know like mysterious hero x was called the worst character in the game like as like you know in the standpoint of uh like you know like how to use her and all that stuff i'm not really sure what is her current situation now let me know i'm pretty sure she has gotten a few upgrades a few buffs enhancements and stuff then they usually get the rank up quests uh is she better now i don't know um, so I don't even see her in my friend support list at all. So I'm not quite sure about her currently, her current position. So let me know. Uh, so yeah, so these are the characters. This will probably be the banner which a lot of people will try to get, try to roll in. All right, the next one is a Red Four Horseman Two. Uh, let's see which characters I have from here. I have Maid Alter. I have Skadi. I have uh, Nero uh, Caster. I have uh, Mama Raiku. Four of them. I have four characters from here. So, a really good banner. Uh, not as good as the, the, the one on top. But, you know, like for people who don't have Rhinus, I've, like, you know, I've seen like Rhinus being one of the best supports uh, just after Waver. And uh, she, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably try to get Rhinus in this banner. Uh, but there's a lot of other characters accompanying her as well. Skadi is also, obviously people who don't have Skadi might also try to get uh, you know, her in this banner. So Rhinus and Skadi will be two characters who a lot of people will try to get. Uh, and uh, yeah, these are the two solid characters here I can see. Uh, I have Maid Alter. Maid Alter is really good as a single target. Um, was um, what's that? a quick yeah single target quick character however kintoki rider kind of like you know is like that as well she he's also a, a free character and he's also like a single target quick user so i feel like you know like made alter and kintoki being there made alter like you know like I, I don't think a lot of people just because of her fighting and like you know her uh use people might not try to get her obviously a lot of people will definitely try to get her because she is artoria alter made like that's probably would be that probably would be the biggest reason why people try to get her. I'm not quite sure. Like, and I think Kintoki Rider does her job pretty well as a free character. Uh, Rhinus, obviously, like I said, one of the best characters. Skadi, one of the best quick supports. You know, uh, and uh, Nero, uh, Caster. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I don't even use her. I just got her because I love love Nero. So <laughs> when she came out, I I tried for her. I got her. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how people use her or, or I think she's like a buster AOE, isn't she? Yeah. So I don't think much people use her at all. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah, Nero, like you know, obviously since it's Nero, a lot of people might try. Uh Da Vinci, Da Vinci uh caster. Now I feel like this is another I'm not quite sure. Does Da Vinci caster get uh reruns nowadays? Like, you know the banner reruns, does she get them? Because I don't remember because obviously Da Vinci, you know, the caster version, as we know in the game, she's not here anymore. Like, so I feel like 
uh, his her situation is, is it kind of like Musashi? She never gets any banner from this point. If that's the case, then people might try to get her from this uh, lucky uh, back summoning. So yeah, like that's the situation. Like uh, yeah, da, Vin uh, da Vinci Caster. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I've not heard much people talk about her. Unlike her uh, rider variant, like everyone talks about her rider variant because she's so good. So I'm not quite sure about her though. Uh, Cleopatra again. I'm. I don't know much about how people use her and all that. Uh, but she's a really good character. I think she's. Is she, she's voiced by Ria Kugume, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. I'm one of my favorite voice actors. So, <laughs> yeah, she's. Yeah, she's. I feel like. <coughs> yeah, people might try to get her. Shuten would probably be <coughs> another character that a lot of people might try because of her amazing voice acting and her just she's she's just amazing. Uh, I don't know though uh, in a you know in a in a gameplay standpoint where she stands, but other than that, yeah, she's really good. And obviously, I always mix up the names of uh, like the mysterious here and mysterious here and X Alter. Yeah, that's her name. <laughs> She, uh, again, I'm not quite sure how, she's a berserker, yeah, I think she's a quick berserker, isn't she? Uh, so I feel, I think that people use her with Skadi, so yeah, people might try. Uh, Minamato no Raiko, she, I don't know, like I said, I'm not quite sure about her. I think she's still a solid character because when Koyanska is going to come, she'll probably again become uh, a lot more used by other people. No, oh, but uh, Arjuna Alter is there. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, as a as a waifu, as a character, you know, like standpoint. Yeah, a lot of people might try. I I like you know I I had have Minamoto no Raiku, so I'm 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 glad. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember like you know how I got her. I I tried like at the beginning of the banner, way before I did YouTube. Uh, <laughs> she didn't come. And I was so depressed. I was like, yeah, I, I wanted her. And then at the final day, I think I did like a, I don't know how many, like some single rolls or some 10 rolls. I don't even remember what I did. And I got her. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, the next one, red extra number one. Oh boy, this is a really good banner I can see. Uh, Himiko is there, a character that I probably would have, uh, this, this would have been probably been a banner that I would have tried if I did not have Himiko. Like Himiko is here, so yeah, a really, really good unit. You know, like she, she with Castoria is crazy, <laughs> and yeah, so Himiko is there. Okay, let's see how many characters I have from here. Himiko number one, uh, Space Star I have number two, Melt I have I got from a GSSR. Uh, I have uh, Summer Abbey. I have Young Guife. Five characters I have. Wow. Oh, it would have been a risk if I tried to get. Himiko in this one <laughs> but thankfully I have Himiko so I won't have to uh, try to get her in this banner uh, so yeah the really good characters Himiko one of the best uh, really good characters Space Ishtar really good for farming and she's just very versatile you know you can use Skadi with her you can use Castoria with her you know because of her like the change in the noble phantasm you know thing that she does so yeah uh, King Protea now King Protea is a character that I I really want, you know, like, I don't know if someday I'll have enough spare SQ to actually try in her banner because her, I feel like her um, skills and everything are quite unique. I think she just keeps growing, her HP keeps growing or something. It's really a unique thing that I've never seen any other characters. And she's cute, so. <laughs> yeah, King Protea is a character I feel like that's, I might try in the future if I have enough. Uh, and Melt, Melt is a really solid character, single target, um, uh, uh, quick character. BB, I'm not sure about BB though, I'm BB Summer. Uh, how, do people use her? I'm, I'm not really sure because I think she is a Buster AoE. Is she a Buster AoE? I think so. So, and she has the ability of like locking cards as far as I can remember. Yeah, like you know, like the, the, the cards that you use, which is kind of unique, I guess. Uh, but I'm not sure if people use her or anything. So I'm pretty sure if, after Koyanska comes, she'll probably a lot of people will start using her again. And she's a moon cancer, so yeah, I doubt many people use her that much. Uh, but either way, uh, BB's uh, summer is here. Uh, Abigail Williams, 
I'm not sure about her though as well though. I don't really see people talking about her. So yeah, uh but as a character in a character standpoint, yeah, people might try to get her. Abby is summer. I've heard a lot like this is one character that I just got like she just started coming and never stopped coming like she just just like won the first role she came one time then second role she again came and like she just kept like you know like like answering my calls of the summons and I think like I have her at NP4 or something it's crazy and I've heard that people barely use her because of her really weird skill set like uh like I've seen I've seen I, I do know the problem and like honestly speaking i'm not even use her that much and as a foreigner i always use young guife and now that i have a van gogh I, i'm just going to use them and hoxa is there as well as a aoe arts character so like the chances of using her is so low i barely use her i don't even i have, I have her at nv4 i don't even use her that much at all so <laughs> yeah i was happy when i got her but nb4 my god i would have been happy if <laughs> castoria became nb4 <laughs> like she she's the one who answered my calls that many times like oh my god but anyways um so yeah i think like this will probably be a character that, that people will try to avoid like abigail because of her really weird um skill set and all uh but as a character people might try to get you know, uh, Yang Guifei. Now, Yang Guifei is a character that I had no clue about when I got her in the GSSR. Um, and uh, I was like, I was actually trying to get Super Orion. And I was like, oh, I'm so disappointed that she's, like, you know, like Super Orion did not come and she's the one who answered my call. But then I realized she's a really good character with, especially now that Castoria is here, she's solid. Like, you know, with, if you put some command codes of those burn command codes on her, and just hit the enemy hard, put a few amount, like a few burns on them, and then use the NP. And uh, with Castoria, like she hits hard. And as a character, she's really good as well. I like her. So yeah, I'm really glad that she was the one who answered my calls in G in the previous GSSR. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So <laughs> yeah. So a good banner. Uh, Himiko. I feel like Himiko and Space Star maybe melt would and young wife maybe they would probably be the main targets in this banner for people who try to get them uh because yeah like because himiko came very recently so did young wife so a lot of people might try to get them who actually missed out on them and this is another thing i feel like really depends uh it really uh matters in uh banners is that which character came like for example uh you try to get like himiko was there a few months ago uh people who tried to get himiko and they wasn't able to get himiko they would be like oh my god what the hell and they will try in this banner because not much time has been gone but if a lot of time goes you know a lot of people like lose interest in the set characters like th that happened to me as well like i was like oh my god this character i really want this character i haven't got her or him like you know like uh and then a lot of time passes and then i'm like ah it's okay fine <laughs> this was a lot of more other characters so i think that's another like you know reason why people like might try to get himiko and young guife because they came very recently young guife was featured in the very recent uh imaginary scramble so was himiko uh in uh, in the guda guda so yeah that might be a reason why people try and obviously space is here all right red extra number two okay Another banner which again a few people who doesn't have a few characters might try. For example, I can see that okay, let's see how many characters I have from here. I have Jolter, I have Mao Nobu, I have Okta uh, Alter, I have um Seso in uh Moon Cancer, I have Van Gogh, I have Hoax, I have everyone almost. Only two characters I don't have. My god. Okay, so yeah, I would have never like you know probably tried in this banner. Way risky. So the only character that I don't have is Artoria Ruler and Seso in Kiara uh, um, Alter Ego. So okay, now let's talk about the really good servants here. First of all, Van Gogh is here, like one of the best characters currently. And a lot of people will, like I said, like she came very recently and people who don't have her will definitely try to get her in this banner. So Van Gogh, number one, the, I think she'll probably be the most sought out character in this banner. Um, then who i think jolter will probably be another character no a hoxai and jolter will probably be the second priority of people 
because a lot of people like who don't have Jolter will might try to get her. Jolter is a really good, she she still like holds so, like you know so much power. Like Jolter is crazy still, even without any like you know class advantage, she hits so hard that it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Jolter is really good. So Van Gogh Jolter, Hokusai as well, obviously has a really good arts character, arts AOE, uh, foreigner. And uh, yeah, now let's talk about the other characters. Out of all the other characters except except uh, Jolter, Van Gogh, and uh, Hokusai, uh, Kiara Moon Cancer I think will be another character a lot of people might try to get because she obviously she's a Moon Cancer and not only that she has an interesting skill set and I think she people she can you can use her with Castoria a lot. So another character that people might try. Other than them, who? Mao Nobu, I don't think people might try to get Mao Nobu though. Just as because she's a really like you know uh, like from the gameplay standpoint, people might try not try try to get her. But as a character, Mao Nobu is amazing. So you know it's like Mao Nobu, like, she has like three forms. It's, it's really cool. And uh, yeah, so that might be a reason. Okta Alter, another fan favorite. You know, so people might try just because of that. Artori is there. Uh, Artori ruler. I don't know how people use Artoria Ruler though. I've not heard much people talking about her. So as a gameplay standpoint, I'm not quite sure. But obviously as a character, this is our beloved king. <laughs> in a ruler, in a bunny outfit. So yeah, just because of that. And Sesso in Kiara, Alter Ego. A lot of people might try to get her as well because she's again a really good farmer paired with Castoria. So yeah, another good banner, but just because Van Gogh is there, I think a lot of people might try. Alright, that's all the female characters. Let's go to the male characters. There's three banners with the male characters. Now, you could probably say that if I tried to get in any of the any characters from this banner, I would have probably been the most safe because I have none of them. <laughs> none of the characters I have here. I think so. Let me see. Do I have any of the characters from? I have none of the characters. <laughs> yeah wife you know like the whole waifu <laughs> that, that's basically the reason and being an f2p player i like you know i, I have my priorities so <laughs> i did however try to get super orion though two times i have failed uh but yeah okay so the first banner um like i feel like if if uh ibuki was not here if i didn't if i had ibuki like like Ibuki still not come, but I won't try to get her in the banner. If I actually got Ibuki some way or the other, I would probably try in these banners. Because again, like I have this fascination for Super Orion, and I probably would have tried in this banner. And again, Super Orion and Romulus, both of them are here. Two of the grand servants. So I would have probably done that. But because of Ibuki, I won't. And uh, okay, uh, the first banner is a really good banner. There's so many really good characters here. I can see Super Orion being a fan favorite and people just love her, love him. So yeah, same for me. I would have probably tried in this banner if I did not try in the Ibuki banner. So Super Orion, Romulus again, another Grand Lancer, a really good character, I think. And uh, yeah, these two will be the most sought out along with Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is here. She, he still holds strong, you know. Uh, like obviously like this is Gilgamesh we're talking about so these three characters I think a lot of people will try uh, other than them uh, may, maybe we might try for Astolfo you know Astolfo Saber uh, I'm not so sure about proto Arthur, uh, Arthur prototype Sigurd and Moriarty though I'm not sure whether people use them or not I don't even see them that much in my friend uh, you know, in my friend list so I'm not quite sure but either way uh, yeah, Gilgamesh, Super Orion, and Lance uh, Romulus are really, really like they they will be like the main focus here, and uh, like Gilgamesh still holds strong. Like he he's a character who came out in the beginning of the game, and I still see so many people having him in this friend support. He's that like you know that strong. Even though Super Orion is here, I just see every like most of my friend list has like Gilgamesh in the Archer section, and I'm like, damn, this guy is. <laughs> It's Sasuga Gilgamesh. <laughs> okay, the next one. White Four Horsemen. Okay, this is the uh, Rider, Caster, and the Assassin and Berserker banner. Uh, let's see the characters that people might like, have, will have their eyes on. 
two characters i can automatically see uh, being the most sought out from this banner three characters you could say the first one obviously uh, arjuna altar the first one being arjuna altar a lot of people will try uh, then merlin obviously merlin is another really solid character he still like buffs the hell out of you <laughs> and obviously the old man you know the old man of the mountain is here and yeah these another grand servant these three characters will be the main focus in this banner i think uh like arjuna altar being one of the strongest i think like he, he he's like he's the strongest berserker currently a buster berserker and he's he, he's going to hold strong for a long time from this point onwards and i think in jp he still holds strong uh so yeah uh now other than these three uh there's ivan here ivan the terrible i don't see people talking about him that much but he's a really cool character you know i i, I really like him uh iskander is there another fan favorite you know like uh so yeah people might just try to get him that's why this banner and i think iskander never had any other, did he have any other banner after that first one i think he might have had but you know she doesn't have that many banners rerun so that's why um uh, kintoki is here uh, now here's another thing I feel like people might try to get Kintoki here just because of the Heianko they're, they're going to get a new costume maybe because of that people who don't have any other servant they particularly want they might try in this banner just to get Kintoki for that like you know costume so that they can use it and uh, Hijikata Hijikata uh, yeah I'm a good servant I think I'm not quite sure though uh, yeah so there you go so the three three main mm, focus here maybe four uh ajuna altar merlin old man of the mountain and maybe iskander right the next one is white extra and this is a banner interesting banner this has the extra classes uh, amak sashiro uh okay uh let's see which characters people might try here ashia doman i think he and uh dantes will be the characters who will be the main focus here dantes being a solid unit a solid uh like you know aoe quick art uh, quick user quick card user and with skadi he's crazy so dantes just because of that asha doman i think i'm not quite sure about how it, i feel like a lot of people will try to get asha i think so because yeah like the hype for asha is quite crazy like <laughs> I, I i've seen it like and i've seen a lot of people like being crazy about ashia <laughs> so people who will not be able to get him in the recent heian Kyo banner they'll definitely be like yes this is my chance i have to get him so this this banner this banner will be for them and so yeah these two i can see being the oh these three uh i forgot about um what's his name uh yeah Shin... no oh god i forgot his name like not this one the other name that he has Shin Shi Huang is that is that how oh god I even I even searched out his pronunciation in YouTube because I've heard <laughs> like I because the way it's pronounced is different and I forgot about it completely anyways I think it's Shin Shi Huang something like that uh, I think anyways yeah he the mothman yeah he will be another character who will be extremely sought out so three i can see three character being the main focus on this banner ashia dantes and him so yeah and and he's lost the king and he's really good with his whole in, like, invincibility and all like i've used him and he's really good you know in, in my friend support as a solo character and you know in a lot of situation he actually saved me so another really good character so these three will be the main focus. Uh, I feel like Holmes would also, a lot of people might try to get Holmes because Holmes is really good. Uh, his whole, uh, I think that the whole, the defense thing that she, he does, the defense down thing that he does, like, negates all the defenses. That has helped me out one or two times I've seen, like with, in those really pesky CQs where they have this weird, like, you know, defense up thing. Like he just saved me over there. So that's another really, you know good character holmes i'm not sure about voyager though i don't even know how people use whether people use her him or not uh, i'm not quite sure so yeah i don't know amakusa i've heard that people use amakusa because of i don't know why because of some i don't even remember his skill kit or his uh, thing 
the, the command cards that he uses but i've heard that she, people really like him and they use him because of a particular reason i can't really remember which it is but anyways um yeah so three characters will be the focus here ashia dantes and uh, mothman <laughs> so these three and then obviously the other two so yeah there you go so that is it like so my like my full verdict out of all these banners uh, obviously i'm going to do this one three nice one and my verdict would be for a like you know for a new player or like you know who who has decided to spend on uh, the lucky banner and who don't have that many five star characters my uh, advice would be to go for this one red four horsemen banner because obviously castoria there if you have castoria you don't have to think about anything else and castor is going to carry you throughout the whole thing so this one would be my uh my advice for them to go because not only castoria da vinci lily musashi kama is here like so, so many really good characters so any new players that would be my advice now let me know what you guys would like you know like want to go for and uh, yeah now i kind of like you know, gave my opinion about a lot of characters uh like fgo is a like you know, it's a crazy like you know game and i still learn new things even after playing this game for almost like five or something years six years almost so like not six but five yeah fifth anniversary so i still learn new things so if i was wrong in any of my assessment please let me know in the comment section <laughs> but yeah anyways that is it so yeah like i'm going to go for this one let me know what you guys are going to go for that's it thank you for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thank you for watching and uh, yeah i'll see you guys uh, in the next mgo video which will probably be hey on q i'm not sure when it's going to come out it'll probably come out very recently very soon i think like they're going to have like a um live stream very soon like tomorrow or something like on the 19th so after that i'm guessing we're going to get some kind of uh, news as to when it's going to start so when it's going to come out obviously i'm going to do my gameplay just like i usually do i'm really excited for heian kyo and let's see what happens so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day